Joining us now is the newly re-elected Congresswoman, Dina Titus, Democrat of Nevada. Congressman, Congresswoman Titus, thank you for being here tonight. Congratulations on your win. I know you were not happy about the redistricting. <laughs> the, one of the F-bombs might have been yours, according to reports. What happened, and how did it turn out uh, in Democrats' favor? How do you read the, the, the effects of Tuesday night? Well, the people in District 1 proved that they want a fighter, and they know I am a fighter, maybe indicated by some of my language that should have been more discreet. <laughs> but uh, we just worked very hard. They poured $9 million into my race with outside money, but we just went after it. And we told the story of what Congress has accomplished the last two years, and we reminded people in Nevada that we were the hardest hit by COVID with the highest unemployment about 35 percent, and yet now we are the fastest recovering place in the country. And people understood that and appreciated it and knew we went after it and would do so again because we're not through with the problems. I wonder, I actually want to talk to you about the COVID effect on all of this, because the Democratic mm -hmm. candidate, in terms of the governor's race, it seems like governors have been punished in a way. In a, or it, we talk about split ticket, but it looks like some Democrats at the gubernatorial level are having a harder time than uh, congressional Democrats. And I wonder if you think that's because of COVID and the fact that some of these governors had to oversee the closure of local businesses and take the hit to the state economy. Is that why you're seeing sort of different numbers in the same party for people in the gubernatorial races versus the congressional races? I think it's very likely. You cannot imagine how hard a decision it was for our governor to close down the strip when our economy is so dependent on that income, when so many people are employed in the tourism and uh, travel business. And to see the strip, you could drive down, it looked like the twilight zone, and close down for several months. So I'm sure that that has something to do with it. But if he hadn't done that, the recovery would have taken longer. It would have been harder. Lives would have been lost, and it would have taken uh, more of an effort to get people back into jobs and children children back into school. Can you talk to me a little bit about the economic message? Because there was a lot of hue and cry about Democrats and how they were going to talk about the economy, how they were going to talk about inflation. You have a lot of working class folks in Nevada who, as you point out, took a hit when the casinos closed. How did Democrats talk to them about what was going on in terms of inequality, in terms of wages, in terms of growth? And what was the convincing message there? I think the message was, and this is one I ran very strongly on, is that we want to help the people who need the most, not those who have the most. And so that's why we went after big corporations. We went after executives of gas and pharmaceutical companies. We just made the point that when they get a tax break, that trickle down doesn't trickle down nearly as far as most of the working people in this district. Where did you see abortion in all of this? How animating was that for your voters? How animating was that in an is as an issue in Nevada? There's a large immigrant population. How did that play out among your constituents? Well, we wondered how it would play in the Hispanic community, but Hispanic women were very strongly opposed to the doing away with Roe versus Wade. And Nevada is kind of a live and let live state, so they didn't like government telling them what they could do with their own bodies. And young people, especially young women, turned out in high numbers because suddenly they realized that something they took for granted might be gone and they wanted to fight for it, just as we did 50 years ago. Congresswoman Dina Titus of Nevada, thank you for your time tonight. Congratulations again on your win. May the F-bombs flow in a different direction next time. <laughs> thank you.